so this is the next question 4c so here they have given the value of d that is divergence that uh, sorry electric flux density as a 0.3 r square ar nano coulomb per meter square so the value of nano is 10 to the power minus 9 hope you might be knowing and also they have mentioned it in free space so we need to find the three subcases that is find e at point p mentioned as 2 comma 25 degree comma 90 degree then uh, total charge within the sphere at uh, r is equal to 3 meter then total electric flux leaving the out of the sphere at r is equal to 4 meter okay first for the first subcase we have the relationship of electric flux density that is d is equal to epsilon times e times e since in the question they are mentioned as free space so we need to taking epsilon is equal to epsilon naught that is absolute permittivity its value is 8.854 into 10 power minus 12 volts per meter so therefore from this relation we are getting e as d by epsilon naught so the value of d is 0.3 r square into 10 power minus 9 ar vector divided by epsilon naught value substitute it then uh, simplify this and we are getting 0.0338 if we divide 0 0.3 and 8.854 into if we bring this 10 to the power minus 12 to the numerator it would be 10 to the power 12 so 10 to the power minus 9 into 10 power 12 so minus 9 plus 12 would be plus 3 into r square ar vector so e is equal to so in order to eliminate this 10 to the power 3 so i have just shif shifted this point to the right side that is 3 times so that's why it is 33.88 uh, r square ar vector volts per meter okay so this is the value of uh, e okay so this value of e we need to be substituting at uh, p of 2 comma 25 degree comma 90 degree okay since here they have mentioned only the value of r that is 2 these two values are not mentioned so substitute that value of r that is 2 square so 33.88 into 4 that is 135.52 ar vector volts per meter okay so this was the answer of uh, electric field intensity e okay so now let's get to the next sub question that is total charge within the sphere at r is equal to 3 meter okay so we have a relation for uh, charge that is q is equal to d into 4 pi r square okay so how this formula has come by since we have a relation for electric flux density that is equal to psi by a that is electric flux per area right that is equal to since psi is equal to q so d we can write it as q by a so q is equal to d into a okay where the area here a is called the area and here in the question they have mentioned the sphere right so area of sphere is 4 pi r square so that's why we are getting q is equal to d into 4 pi r square so substitute the value of d as 0.3 r square into 10 power minus 9 into 4 pi r square that is 4 into 3.14 into r square the value of r they have mentioned it as total charge within the sphere at r is equal to 3 meter right so 3 square is 9 so simplify this and the answer we are getting here is for charges 305 nano coulomb okay this nan n is for stands for nano its value is 10 to the power minus 9 okay 10 to the power minus 9 so let's get to the next sub question so here again we need to find the total electric flux leaving out of the sphere at r is equal to 4 meter okay again we are going to apply the same formula that is uh, since we have the formula for d is equal to psi by a so therefore psi is equal to d into a if you cross multiply d into a and they have mentioned the area of sphere so that's why area of sphere is 4 pi r square then again the value of d is 0.3 r square into 10 power minus 9 into 4 pi r square so 0.3 into value of r is 4 so 4 square into 4 into 3.14 into 4 square then if we simplify this and the final answer for electric flux psi coming out of the sphere is 964.6 nano coulomb or we can simply write it as 0 0.96 micro coulomb okay it's one and the same okay so this was the solution for this problem okay so please uh, note it down here so this was the all the three sub questions we have solved it okay pause the video and refer this okay okay please pause the video and you can refer the solution down so this is the next question 5b if potential of v x square y z plus a y cube z volts okay v they have mentioned here it has v is equal to x square y z plus a y cube z volt okay so here what are the two sub questions is find the value of a so that the laplace equation is satisfied okay with that value of a second sub question 
with that value of a determine the value of e at point p that is 2 comma 1 comma minus 1 okay so as you can as you can see that the points are in rectangular coordinate system x y z so that's why the laplace equation we know that in general laplace equation is del square v is equal to 0 okay so we need to be substituting this del square v in a rectangular coordinate system so the del square v when we substitute in rectangular coordinate system that is dou square v by dou x square plus dou square v by dou y square plus dou square v by dou z square equal to 0 okay since when del square v equal to 0 we are getting the laplace equation and also we know that when del square v is equal to minus rho v by epsilon then this equation is called as Poisson's equation okay so yeah I've told you in my concept video you can refer it okay if you want the concept video related to this we have created it in our playlist so this video it might be appearing in the top right of your screen now okay you can refer that as well so let's get back to the problem now so this is in rectangular coordinate system then dou square by dou x square and substitute the value of v given in the question that is x square y z plus a y cube z so same goes here dou square by dou y square substitute the value of v dou square by dou z square again substitute the value of v then equate it to 0 then del square v is equal to then uh, here we have dou square by dou x square so that's why we need to uh, partially differentiate twice so after differentiating once this equation with respect to x what we are getting is x square yz so that is x square differentiation is 2x and this yz keep it as it is so it is 2xyz and here we don't have any x term so this is 0 so after differentiating it once this is the term we get that is 2xyz here also with differentiating with respect to y once so here we are getting x square z plus uh, the differentiation of y cube is 3y y cube is 3y square and az is remaining as it is constant okay then again differentiating with respect to z once for this term we are getting differentiation of z is 1 so x square y plus uh, differentiation of z is 1 again so a y cube okay is equal to 0 then del square v again uh, we, we are left with one more time differentiating it so differentiate it, differentiate it one more time so this again uh, differentiate with respect to x that is 2 y z okay differentiation of x is 1 plus differentiate this with respect to y so here we don't have any y term so this is 0 and 3y square its differentiation is 6y okay 6y into az so 6ayz plus here we don't have any z term so that's why this whole term is equal to 0 so our equation is 2yz plus 6ayz is equal to 0 so in this equation you can see that uh, we can take yz common okay that is I have taken yz common here so the remaining term is 2 plus 6a so if you bring this yz to other side what we are getting 2 plus 6a is equal to 0 so 2 is equal to minus 6a so the value of a is minus 2 by 6 or minus 1 by 3 so in this way we need to be finding the value of a by taking the Laplace equation so now second sub question is to find the value of e right for that rewrite the equation of v that is x square yz plus in place of a substitute uh, substitute it as a minus 1 by 3 y cube z so v is equal to x square y z minus y cube z by 3 okay so we have one more relation that is e is equal to minus del times v okay so that is minus of dou by dou x of uh, v that is uh, this v which you have got substituted plus dou by dou a of v plus dou by dou z of v okay then uh, cross multiply this by taking the simple LCM so that's why we are getting 3x square yz minus y cube z whole divided by 3 for all the terms here then after that again partially differentiating this, so this is of the form uh, u, u by v so we can use the u by v rule and partially differentiate so in this way differentiate partially okay numerator as it is differentiation of denominator is constant so it is 0 minus denominator 3 into differentiation of numerator with respect to x so that is we will be getting 6xyz same goes with dou by dou y dou by dou z take the differentiation so here we can see that this first term in all the three case would be 0 because we are multiplying all the terms by 0 so that's why these three terms would be 0 okay then 3 minus 3 into 6xyz so that is minus 18xyz so remember that we have your minus sign outside since it is minus del v okay minus 18xyz divided by 9 plus 3 minus 3 into 3x square z that is minus 9x square z minus 9y square z divided by 9 plus of minus 9x square y plus 3y cube okay divided by 9 again then minus of again 9 1s are 9 2s are so minus 2xyz 
minus here in the you know numerator we can take nine minus nine common outside and uh, rest of the terms right is that is uh, right uh, x square z plus y square z divided by nine so we can cancel this nine nine here so here in this term we can take plus three common outside the remaining terms are y cube minus three x square y so we can cancel three ones are three threes are then write the remaining terms that is e is equal to minus of minus two x y z then again multiply this minus sign to this term minus x square z minus y y square z then we have here y cube by three okay minus three x square y by three so we can cancel three three so we are left with only minus x square y okay then uh, this is the value of e here so the, the also they have mentioned the value of e we need to be substituting it at point two comma one comma minus one okay so in place of x y z substitute these values here and simplify simplify this term and after simplifying the term this is the value of e we are getting that is minus five point three 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 volts per meter okay so this was the solution for this problem so please uh, note take it down uh, pause the video and refer it so now this is very very important concept here that is ampere's law in differential form or point form okay so this question is uh, multiple times repeated and also it's uh, there in the model question paper i guess that is ampere's law in differential form or point form okay yeah so we know that in general h by d h uh, line integral of h dot dl is equal to i which we get uh, got from the uh, ampere's law which we have just seen right now so this relation is useful in circuit theory in field theory, we have to relate these quantities at a point in space, okay? So, curl is a point relation. So, now, now consider an incremental area here, delta S, okay, which has four directions. And from this midpoint of that, the draw and uh, medium or uh, and direction, which is denoted as delta I, okay? And a conducting medium with delta I flowing through the area normal to it, okay? Integrating h around around the peripheral of the area delta h, what we were, delta s, what we will be getting is from Ampere's law. We know that line integral of h dot dl is equal to i, which we already know. So now we need to be dividing the area delta s uh, in both the sides, okay, which is enclosed by the path. So for this equation, in both the sides, let's uh, divide the area delta s. So what expression we will be getting here is line integral of h dot dl divided by delta s is equal to delta i by delta s, okay. So now next step what we will be doing is taking limit of uh, equation 1 as area delta h tending to 0 then LHS of 1 is called as curl of h while RHS is equal to the current density that is j at a point around which delta s is tending to 0. That is here after taking the limit of 1 that is limit of uh, limit where delta s is tending to 0. So now what we would be getting here is limit delta s tending to 0 line integral of h dot dl divided by delta s is equal to limit delta s tending to 0 delta i by delta s. Okay. So we know that we just we have uh, derived just now we have uh, derived the expression of uh, curl right curl of h. Uh, so we can see that this term line integral of del h dot dl divided by delta s, s is equal to curl of h right and also delta i by delta s where limit delta s is tending to 0 that's why we would be getting the expression of current density so that's why we would be getting this relation that is curl of h is equal to j in case of ampere's uh, law in differential form okay so is there any further derivation no so that's all so please uh, go through this ampere's law in uh, differential form okay please uh, make a note of this and uh, hope you understood this video if you did not understand please comment down we would be trying to obtain uh, your solutions obtain your clear your doubts and uh, this is the brief uh, description of the ampere's law in uh, ampere's law in differential form you can see here okay in this whole page so please uh, take it down and uh, note it down so this is very very important so again please like share subscribe so we have uh, done many more videos related to this subject only you can refer our playlist so this would be appearing in the right of your screen now okay please uh, refer our playlists of all the subjects of this sem of uh, electronics and communication de department so please like share subscribe and share this to a huge number guys so that we would be achieving our goal and also you would be understanding more concepts okay please show the support so that's all thank you